Um, Cleveland, here's... what are you doing in here? Here's Gordon Mackey oh. and our awesome makeup artist, Lola Lovecraft. She's doing her thing, and look, he looks so great right now. This is so humiliating. And then here we have Aspen Arrow. Who took my glasses? Man, I can't see a thing. Oh, I don't know. I think I might have. Here, you can wear these. Um, and here's... Hi! Hi, this is Wanda. And then here is uh, Charles, the production manager at RBTV, right? Yeah, awesome. And then, you know, this is where all the magic happens, where all the things get touched and buttons get pushed, and it's awesome. It's so exciting. Um, this is, these are all our, all our uh, camera people. I don't know his name. What's your name? Here's John, and he's camera three. He does a lot of magical stuff here. Um, yeah. <laughs> our, our weather reporter. Um, he's really cool, and he's really nice, and we hang out all the time, and yeah, yeah he's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the behind the scenes. Here, here, here. Get on my microphone, girl. No. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good evening, I'm your lead anchor, and this is not what I'm supposed to be talking. Good job, a-hole. <laughs> you stole my line. Good evening, I'm your lead anchor, A. Scott McGee. And I'm your assistant lead anchor, Gordon Mackey. Welcome to the Southern Oregon News Network's fourth, 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 Fourth broadcast. I believe that is our fourth broadcast, is it not? It isn't. I can't count. I also can't see. I forgot my glasses at home today, so everything is a watercolored blur. Reality itself is skewed and warped to my own limited perspective. In a country that considers french fries and ketchup both vegetables, how does your kid's school lunch stack up to the Frenchies? In a country that considers the rhubarb a lost idol of a civilization better forgotten, how does your kid's lunch stack up to the rest of the school lunch eating world? Poorly. Toast. Are your sandwiches not creepy enough? I think so. The toast stamp in, uh, let's see, different designs such as Panda, the Virgin Mary, Union Jack, maybe you need a Paris theme, or etc. For me, when I wake up in the morning and I don't have enough Panda in my situation, I freak out. It's a very good, did I say very good? <laughs> <laughs> so I did, I did say very good. Uh, uh, what was it actually called again? Hmm? What are we talking about? The hot man trivet. What the hell? Not what it sounds. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Remember it's the little metal dude that holds up your pot? Oh yeah, oh I kind of uh, like this one. It's hilarious. I should have seen it on the teleprompter immediately behind me, but the eyes in the back of my head are covered with my jaunty hat. Runny nose yolk separator. I'm gonna let Gordon take this one, cause it's freaking nasty. The runny nose yolk separator, a perfect way to put yourself into a state of contortion. Look at this guy's nasty face, now it's dripping out your eggs. 
Guess what? Those eggs are more healthy for you because it's just the whites. Thank goodness he's got a runny nose and you can live longer. Think about it. An innocent owl who was nesting in a tree in Salem has, quote, attacked several people encroaching on his territory. MSNBC's correspondent Rachel Maddow Maddow? <laughs> recently weighed in. The show jokingly suggested that the city put up a sign. Recently, the city has secured rights to the show's idea for the sign and has now put up 20 of them. The city of Salem is now aware that they're in constant danger from bloodthirsty owls dropping down on them like weights of doom from the sky above. Rachel Mad Owl. I think I said it right that time. Rachel Mad Owl. Mad Owl. Which is funny. Very funny. If you're not laughing, then f*** you. Are you from Northern Oregon? Move. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> We've got a couple of things that you don't have down here. The first one is called Vitamin D from Sunlight. And the second one, apparently, is that we're not afraid of flipping owls. How about that? Your primitive human body will no longer be dashed to pieces against the hard rocks of your imagination when you imagine yourself driving a new car made of super steel. Super steel. Super. The moral of the story is since steel has been invented, we've taken it for granted that it's heavy, hard, and difficult to use. That's what she said. <laughs> Do you have no need for your poop? Somebody else will take it and pay you. Sound surprising? Well, it is. A nonprofit, thankfully, called um, Open Biome apparently freeze your poo and feed it to other people. Whereas in most countries, this would be called cruel, unscientific, and just plain wrong, <laughs> it seems to be the cutting edge for a treatment of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you would treat I, with that, that's just nasty. Yeah. <clears throat> It's a gorgeous day. What the hell are you doing sitting on the couch wasting your life away? You ain't got no job. You ain't got shit to do. You might as well go out to the lake and get high today. I mean, wait, can I say that on? No, I don't know if I can say that. You don't get high and nobody get high. A family kidnaps their son to teach him a lesson. He is, quote, too nice to strangers. Therefore, they had a stranger kidnap and hold him for six hours. The entire family is now facing criminal charges. Even the son? Except for the son, I'm almost sure. Unless he did something illegal while well, he was trying to escape, which there's no indication that he tried to escape. So I am now just making things up. I heard a rumor, so I will now report it as fact. Small child going to jail for being kidnapped by his own family. Two American sisters have been deported after doing a nude photo shoot in Angor Wat. Angor Wat. The two sisters were deported from the country for six months and were given an international spanking. A spanking which I, for one, wish I'd been there to experience with them, either in person as the spankor or a possible alternative for the spanky. Please disregard everything you hear from Gordon Mackey. In fact, we at the Southern Oregon News Network would like to recant everything he's ever said and let you know that he will be fired. I have no pants on. The Southern Oregon News team is very excited and dare I say titillated that you've become a regular viewer. We know that you have important things to do with your time and or brain. We would like to thank you for allowing us to fill it with our kind of garbage. We should inform you, though, that the things that you learn on this channel are dubious at best, and our scruples are fairly unscrupulous. It should be mentioned that if it weren't for the French, we'd be speaking Old English right now. So thanks, France.
Sorry about all those jokes that we made at your expense for the last, God, I don't know, two or three hundred years. It's been a good run, actually. B.S. You suck at war. <laughs> if you were interested in what's going on in the world today, stay tuned to A. Scott and Mr. Gordon himself. Those motherfuckers will tell you something.